In this video we're going to deal with the animations of our monkey. Might be good to point out if you didn't watch the last three or four videos you're going to be really lost with all the scripts and the events that we've written for the monkey and how we've corrected the jump and the movement so you can see the movement is a lot better. It kind of slows down and slides when you stop. The jump is corrected so the monkey no longer flies. We've kind of created some new problems for ourselves. The biggest one is how far he can jump if you jump and then move left and right. So I'll give you an example. If I was to just press jump and then move it right, you can see he practically jumps the entire length of the screen. And that's really not going to help our game. That problem is now for another video. What we're going to look at in this video is making some animations so that we don't just have a monkey looking straight forward at us. So it doesn't really look so cool with the monkey just kind of facing forward and moving left and right and jumping. So what we're going to do is go to our stencil and have a look first at the appearance of our monkey. So what I've done is actually renamed all the animations so that they're one word. So in this case, idle left, I've just made it into one word. I find it's easier to remember and easier to type later on inside our blocks. The last one I have to do is run right. So I'm just going to click on that. You can go to the name. I'm just going to replace that all with lowercase letters and just call it run right as one word. And you can see now that all my animations have been renamed. My stand animation or my default animation. Now, if you want to change which animation your character has when you first start the game, you just have to click on it, go down to the bottom and click on the star and it will now change this into the default. Let's put that back to where it was. And let's see how we can now use these animations inside our movement. Of course, we want to use the run left and the run right. And later on, we'll figure out how to use the jump right and the jump left. So let's go to our events. Let's go to our new move. That's the one that we last were on. And what we're going to do is when we press the left key, of course, we want the monkey to travel left, but we also want the monkey to look like it's running left. So how we do this is we go to the actors, we go to the draw tab, and we're going to use the switch animation and put it in the left and the switch animation and put it in the right. So what we're going to do is when you press the left key, we are going to change the animation to run left and run right depending on which key you press. Now let's have a look. It's already improved the game a lot. Watching this monkey moving left and right, it actually starts to feel like a real game. We've again introduced a problem, which is now when we let go of the left or the right, the monkey is not told to go back to his default or his stand animation. So we're going to have to solve that problem now. So let's have a look. When you press left, change the animation. When you press right, change the animation to run right. Let's see what happens if we just simply put in an animation of stand where we also tell the velocity to go to zero. In other words, outside of the left and right. Let's see what happens now. So here we have it. And you can see that we've now broken the left and the right movement because what we've told the monkey is no matter what happens, show the stand animation and not the run left and right. So we're going to have to think about this in a slightly different way. The problem is we are telling the monkey to either run left or run right, but at the same time we're saying always show the stand animation. So the monkey really doesn't know now which animation to run. To solve this problem, we're going to add another if block in here. Let's take our switch animation to stand out there. And what we're going to do is now use an or block. So we're going to check if something or something else is happening. In this case, what we want is to check, has the player let go of the left or the right key? So let's do choose control left. And instead of saying left is down, we're going to say if left is released or if the right is released. And then we're going to say switch animation to stand. So let's have a look. Test the game again. So yeah, we've we've solved the problem of the animation going from running to standing, but we've again introduced a new problem. 
which is basically the monkey, as soon as I let go of either the left or the right, as instructed, the monkey is now showing me the stand animation, which of course makes it look even worse. So how do we solve this problem? What we'll do is go back to the flow, this time add a time block, and we're just going to put a slight delay in the animation. So what that means is if I let go of the left or if I let go of the right key, one second after I let go, the animation will go from the running animation to the standing animation. Let's test that out. Yep, so you can see that it's working really well. The left running and the right running is working. And the only problem that I see right now is as I let go now, the monkey kind of runs a little bit for too long a time, so it doesn't kind of feel right. So let's just fix that very quickly. I think one second was too long, so I'm going to make that 0 0.6. Let's try that and just see if that improves the movement of the monkey with the animation. Yeah, indeed, that actually feels quite good because when I let go, he kind of stops running and stands.